Yo guys, Features Gaming here. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we are back with another Train Sim World route. And today we are doing the 1W30 from London, Victoria to Brighton. Or, well, this is going to be actually terminating at Gatwick Express. But I think we are going to be going to Brighton in this route. I'm not actually too sure. Um, so, yeah, that is what we are doing today. Uh, we are doing it in the 379 thing. Um, I think that's the thing that we uh, decided to do. So let's go ahead and unlock the doors. And once again, I am doing it. If I get out of the thing, I am doing it in an Airlink train, an Airlink themed livery, as you can see. And actually, I think the rear of this train is actually Airlink themed as well. Is it? I think it might be, you know. Oh, wow. The rear train has got um, the Airlink livery, which is awesome. And I think even the coach after that as well. Yeah, this car has train cars. So it's a massive train, this is. Yeah, all cars are actually Airlink themed. That is crazy. And awesome as well. Because someone said there's an Airlink themed coach over there as well. <laughs> because someone actually commented on the last um, video. Um, he was actually the author of the mod. Um, surprisingly, I didn't actually think, you know, the author of the mod would actually see that video, but apparently they did. And they said, yeah, apparently the rear coaches are just randomly uh, picked one. So that's kind of crazy that, you know, the, the coaches it gives me for this one is the one, um, you know, the, the additional coaches are the things. That is crazy. Right, let's put on day running headlights. I've decided to go for, um, you know, nice weather. We're not really going to bother around with that. So hopefully soon we should be able to close the doors and then we should be able to get out of the way. We just need to wait for the time to tick down, though. And then we should be good to go. Come on. I think I'll close it at 52. There. Right, let's go. Next stop, Gatwick Airport, platform five. We can probably have a look at all of the stations. Okay, yeah, so we just stop at Gatwick Airport and then Brighton. So, yeah, actually, we do just go and do the entire thing. Okay, not really the best of journeys, but at least we'll still be able to, um, I guess, you know... Have a journey around it. If I did the, this Brighton thing, um, you know, if I did the London Victoria to, um, to Brighton, it would take me an hour to do. And I'm not joking you. It would take me an hour. But the only reason how I'm able to do this route is because obviously I'm recording this obviously yesterday this video is coming out so it is Wednesday today um I'm able to do this because obviously the DLCs now have, co have copied over so that means I've got London commuter uh, I've got the tube one I've got I think a few more German routes and I got even a few more things as well um because I got the deluxe edition like even ones that I didn't have in train sim world 2 I don't know. Obviously, I'll see if I can do, obviously, another stream on this soon and obviously show you all of the, um, you know, trains and stuff I've got. But we'll see. We'll see. But let's get up to, I think this is 30 mile an hour. No, 35 or no, 40. It's just gone up a bit more, I think, to 45, and then hopefully soon we should be able to go to 60. I want to see if I can try and get a good score for this as well. Is this turned up? There we go. I'm not 
not driving over the speed limit. I'm going the speed limit, game. Yeah, it's not really a stopper service, this. We're just going to different stations, that's all. I only picked it because I saw the time of like, you know, 30 minutes. Obviously, I don't want to be recording for like an hour, you know, doing a journey. So I did do this journey. because It was only like 30 minutes I saw. And yeah, I don't really want to be recording for an hour on on this game yet. Obviously, you know, I I have the um, you know, I have the time to do it. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, I think we need to ease in the game a little bit rather than completely, you know, burn ourselves out already before we've effectively got started. You know, because something with me when I game is when I play a game. Or like play a new game i'll play it for probably ages like it'll practically be the only game that i play and then i'll get you know so burnt out on it that i just wouldn't play it again so i kind of want to ease into trains in world 3 a little bit more you know enjoy the experience as it comes and not really completely burn myself out we are unfortunately getting a few red signals, which is not ideal. Let's see if we can contact the signal. I think it'll say denied, yeah. Oh, it's changed, don't worry. It is single yellow, so I think we are trailing behind a train, unfortunately. Yeah, every other signal is we just we are just getting hit with reds. Yeah, I mean if we keep a steady pace, a steady 60, which is what the train in front should be doing, then realistically we shouldn't have any major issues. Oh god, the FPS was just freaking out for a second then. Yeah, I, I am running about 58, like, you know. 58 to 60, that's the frame rate I am uh, running. I'm running 60 right now, but then, you know, like 59, 58. It does occasionally drop, but hopefully it's not too bad. Okay, we're on double ambers now, so... We are at least um, keeping a steady um, distance away. <clears throat> I think we should be let through soon, though, because if we're not stopping until Gatwick Airport, then realistically, we should be let through. It's just I don't know where the train in front is. And that is what's concerning me. Still double amber, so there's no need to worry about slowing down just yet. Is this double amber? Yeah. Can actually speed up a bit more. I think that's the train down there, isn't it? Oh, never mind. It's just turned. Oh, wait. No, it isn't. Going on to those, you know, like hour long journeys. I mean, I might do them on streams. You know, don't get me wrong. I will stream them. And as I said, you know, I will record them, you know, quite soon. But. Yeah, not right now, I don't think. A few streams in the future, yes, maybe.
But yeah, honestly, these Trains in World 3 videos, honestly, are blowing up more than my SCR videos when 1.10 came out. I'm not joking you, these videos are getting more views <laughs> than my SCR videos, so honestly, I think, yeah, take a break from SCR. I mean, these Trains in World 3 videos are performing way better, and in all, on in all honesty, I'm going to be honest, I am enjoying Trains in World 3 more than SCR at the moment. I will be honest. So, yeah. I think I might take a slight break from SCR. I mean, obviously, you know, I'll try and, you know, obviously get back to doing it, you know, when I want to. But yeah, I think while they're on 30 player servers at the moment and I'm experiencing a few bugs, I think honestly, we'll just take a bit of a break from SCR at the moment and we'll just do some Train Sim World 3 videos. Because honestly, I am, I, I am enjoying this game. I am really enjoying the game. And rightly so as well. I'm learning so much, you know, as well, you know, educational about trains and stuff. Still 18 miles away from Gatwick Airport. We're not supposed to be there for like another 18 minutes. Plenty of time. Just overtaking uh, the train to our left. I'm actually still surprised that we haven't come up uh, come upon the uh, train in front actually maybe they're doing the entire run with us maybe still on double ambers we're not stopping I think we will gain though uh, soon. Oh, we got greens now. Perfect. I'm guessing they've gone on to like a different track then or something. Because we wouldn't be getting greens if not. That's not them. Oh. Break. At least I don't think it's them. There wasn't any tracks to go on to that track. Maybe they went to the left there. Yeah, that might that may be them there. Again, the frames are just being a little bit twingy at the moment. It, honestly, I, I do take quality over performance. In, in all honesty, I love seeing the game in good graphics. I do try and find a balance, though. I think it's, you know, it is important when you're playing games that, you know, require sort of, you know, like good frames in order to run, like probably like F1. Like, you know, you, you do you do need good frames for that. So I do try and find a balance. Because, you know, the, the F1 Esports, you know, drivers, you know, you can see they literally just run on low quality. So they can maximize the FPS that they get. But for me, I, I like to see the game in good you know quality so yeah that's why i am um, focus on uh you know on good quality gameplay as well as good frames 
And another reason why I kind of went, you know, a little bit above and beyond with uh, configuring my PC as well, so I could get, you know, the frames that I wanted. Back up to 60. Still 15 miles to go. We've got a few good opportunities there for a thumbnail. A 90 speed limit? I don't even think we'll, even, we'll ever get that quick. We can try. We're on green signals. I don't see why we... Uh, you know, I don't see any need to do that. Oh, yeah. Where, where's the IWS thing? Uh, I think it's over here. Oh, uh, which one is it? It's here somewhere. Forgot to turn that on at the start. <laughs> oh, I just saw... The signal slightly beyond a beyond an amber warning. Am I gonna ask to click Q? Okay, now we're on green again. Never mind. Still thirteen miles to go. We've still got over 10 minutes until, you know, we need to be there. So, honestly, there's no rush at all. I think we can go a mile in probably about, like, 40 seconds. Plenty of time. Getting a few additional thumbnail op options in case you wanted, to, in case we wanted to use any other options. But yeah, I <laughs> just find it hilarious how we got, you know, we got an airlink train. Oh, it's a three eight seven. My mistake. One. There we go. I thought I clicked one and instead I press escape. I will drop it down to power one, as we are kind of going ninety at the moment. Although I think we do need. Th Honestly, we need four just to keep up with the speed now because we're going up. We're going uphill. We might be able to get to Gatwick pretty soon that we can do a bit of plane spotting. While we wait. I don't even know how much score it is in order to get a gold medal on this um, route. Will it tell us here? Um, maybe not. We can just look at this map. You know, Brighton's all the way down here. You know, Brighton is, I think, near, like, um, south of the UK. Like, we're heading out of London. 
most of the journeys that I do are mostly, you know, mostly around London-ish. I think this is probably one of the furthest away, you know, routes that, you know, you kind of have. Which on the cab light for a little bit. We do have our headlights on, right? This isn't film like it. The long tunnel. I think my ears are going to pop soon. <laughs> oh gosh, we are actually speeding slightly. There we go. We'll just coast it down here now. Still slightly over, we'll just drop it down a little bit. Seven miles to go in about eight minutes. We've got this. We've got this. No problem at all. We might not have a you know time to do some plane spotting, but we'll definitely arrive there like a minute early, I think. much to talk about while we're driving down here is there I guess this is another reason why I don't really want to do you know like hour long videos because you know like it'll just be you know I'll, I'll just be chipping in every now and then because I literally have nothing to talk about I did not pay attention to that speed limit whatsoever And then we go back up to 90. That is a lot of coaches. That is a lot of coaches. Currently already on 2,840 AP, make that 2,870 now. We get an additional 30 XP for keeping under the speed limit. Reading slightly. Drop it down. Come on. There we go.
2.8 miles away. I think I might go to a position 2 braking at a mile out. Because... If we are going, you know, so quick, then we are going to need to slow it down soon, obviously. We do have a 60 mile an hour speed, though, um, very soon. Well, I say very soon, practically, you know, like, outside the airport. We might actually be able to see some planes at the moment. If we're really lucky, we might be able to see some planes. Right, we're going to move to... Oh, we've got some signals. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll do a break one, actually, I think. We'll ease it in. Oh, there's a plane. Maybe move to a position two. I think you should probably aim to enter the station at about 30. And then you should be fine. Yeah, we're, we're going to be here actually for quite a while, I think. There's another plane. Oh, yeah. Right, let's do break one now. Better to break early than not at all. <phone rings> Nearly there, there's another plane. bit further bit more come on all right then we'll stop it there it we got a bit of a time here it is not permitted to cycle skateboard or rollerblade within the station building there's the waterline announced oh we should have done a waterline theme train <laughs> Oh. Should have done a literally, you know, waterline train. That would have made it so better. You could actually have that of a, as a thumbnail option. If we really needed to. Where's the next plane? I think I hear it. There it is. Honestly, I love how there's planes in this game. I said it in Train Sim World 2. I just love that. Well, 
Oh, there's another. Gatwick Express train by the looks of it, yep. Well, let's at least get two more planes in. Oh, no, 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 I clicked the wrong thing. That was so close to not doing, being able to do this journey. Ah, oh, we reset the AP though. That's annoying. Nice plane up there. Please remain behind the yellow line at all times. Trains pass through this station at high speed and can cause turbulence. I love, you know, just being able to just be here and just train spot for a while. I love that. Alright, we'll get ready to go. Oh, unlock left. Oh, well, no, we're ready to go. Never mind. Right, let's go. Oh, gosh, why is the reverse set to the... Why is the headset backwards? The hell? <laughs> Why was it set back? Why was it set backwards? I oh, imagine if we actually went going, that plane would have flown right over the cabin of this train. That would have been epic. Oh, but that's so annoying, though. It reset all of our points and stuff. Ah, well. We're still, you know, we're still doing the same route, which is really what this video is all about, so... I guess it's not too bad, is it? Not too bad, not too shabby, is it? <laughs> that's the phrase, isn't it? Not too shabby? Right up to 90 again. Next stop, Brighton, where this train will terminate. Quite a while away, to be fair. Gonna be travelling for a while. Going uphill slightly, so we're not we aren't gonna be able to get up to speed as quick as we'd like, but still we're moving, we're moving. Supposed to be there at about 20 to 10. I'm 
9.37 it predicts. I think we'll get there earlier. I do think we'll get there earlier. Butterfly noise. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be at Brighton way earlier. We're already 18 miles away and we don't need to be there for about 21 minutes. We're going to be there way early. Oh, 80. All right, never mind that. <laughs> okay, it wasn't significantly over the speed limit. Come on, it was only by 10 miles an hour. Not even driving over the speed limit, you know. Going 80. Then we can go up to 90 then in a minute. Come on, there we go. Back up to 90. 16 miles to go. Predicted to be there in about 20 minutes time. Yeah, we're going to be there well early. We got to Gatwick, you know, like two minutes before. We could probably still get to over like 2000 XP with this, to be fair. I don't know if the 2000 from the previous thing, like, sort of like carries over when I did decided to, you know, well, I didn't decide to, but I accidentally clicked, you know, to abandon the route. I don't know if that will get carried over. I don't think it will, unfortunately, which is, as I said, you know, annoying, but we only do these videos for the, you know, the routes. We don't do it for the points, do we? Eh, the points mean nothing. If I wanted to, I could just speed the entire journey. I don't really care about the points. All we have to do is just watch out for signals and red button, red signals. We are actually going downhill, actually, so if we just coast it, then we should be relatively fine. I honestly predict we'll be at Brighton by probably by about five to, you know, honestly, five to ten minutes early. I honestly think we'll be there that early. I do genuinely believe that. Right, I'll just tap the brakes slightly. So we'll just, you know, just keep the needle, be you know, behind the red thing. And then we can just coast again.
could probably have a look at the scenery, I guess. Shopping centre by the looks of it. Nice town area. Going past another station. Here we do a horn test. There we go. Into a tunnel. Oh yeah, the lights are working. Yeah, apparently, told, apparently someone told me about this, about the white light being there and that one being there. Apparently that is apparently how headlights on trains actually work in the UK. And it wasn't even... You know, it wasn't even said by someone who even is in the UK. So they obviously know more about UK trains than me, and I'm born and bred in the UK. <laughs> 11 miles out, supposed to be there in about 17, not 17, um, in about 15 minutes, I think. Maybe it won't be uh, as long as I anticipated then, actually. I don't think we'll make up 10 miles in five minutes. Ten minutes for sure, but... Yeah, def definitely not... Um, definitely not five minutes. 2,500 AP. I'm just going to say points. <laughs> I know it's experience, but I think they're called points. Right, let's actually uh, get some power down as we are going uphill now. I think maybe a power two is going to be steady or maybe power three. Yeah, power three should do it. We are passing through a load of stations. Let's drop down the speed a little bit. We are speeding ever so slightly. And I think power two honestly just keeps it the same. Oh, it's an, yeah, it's a not gradient actually then. Power one, I think might keep it just steady and leveled. Keep us that. Going downhill again, so actually let's just bring the power down slightly. And then we can coast it. Seems to be starting to rain, so we'll put the wipers on intimate. I think that's what it is. Inter intermittent. Uh, yeah, in intermittent every now and then. We are actually going uphill again now. Point five percent gradient. That's interesting. We probably don't need slow wipers, but I just prefer to have it as slow. It'll save me from having to change it. Five point nine away, so six miles, and we need to be there in twelve minutes. 100% going to get there before the, you know, scheduled time. 
Like, you know, no question about it at all. Four point three miles away now. We're getting there. I still think we can put these back on intimate. Oh, speeding. We're going downhill. Now we'll let gravity do its thing. Do we need slow or intimate? I don't I don't really know. Or intermittent. I'm just going to say intimate because it's just easier. Oh, 75, just seen it. Yeah, I do apologise if this is a bit boring and I'm not really saying anything, because honestly, there is just nothing to say. It's me just sat here driving, and... I guess it's kind of a reason why, you know... Recording these isn't really as exciting i guess sort of as playing it because i could just play this game you know just normally you know not speaking at all and just having the journey as it is but literally there's nothing to talk about Getting some ambers now. It is double ambers though only at the moment. Right, we'll uh, apply a break one. We might actually have a red though soon. I'll get ready. Yeah, there's a red just ahead. I need to actually start slowing it down a bit more, actually. Where is the red? Oh, it's there. Don't say it's that Gatwick Express train. Am I that early? Oh wait, no, I think I think I think I see it there. Contact the signaler maybe. Nope. Seems like we're all waiting for you know an, an available platform. That Gatwick Express train's waiting. Right, well, I guess we'll just wait here. I mean, I can try contact contacting the signal area. It won't change anything.
I guess all platforms are just full at the moment. Oh, come on. Seriously, aren't waiting that long, are we? Well, what I might do is I'm just going to cut ahead in the video until we can get in because otherwise we could not, we could honestly be waiting here for like the next six minutes. So I'm just going to cut ahead in the video until we can actually get into the platform. Uh, so we can speed things up. Although I do actually see a train leaving there. Is that going to give us the all clear? I hope so. Or is it going to be the Gatwick Express that's going to get prioritised? I don't know when it would change our signal if it was to. Let me try contacting the signaller. No. Oh, please let it be us. Come on. Is it not that? Oh, come on. Right, well, I'm just going to wait here and wait until the signal changes. So, I'll see you when we can actually enter the station. Train's leaving. This could be us. As it is on the next track. I think this might be us on a green light, guys. Hey, let's go. There is still another signal before the actual station, but that's for, you know, on a yellow as well. I guess that's a merge one. Finally, though, about time we can get in. I honestly have no idea how long that's taken us. I think that's probably taken us probably three minutes or something. That wasn't too bad. Ah, it was a merging thing. Okay, so yeah, we, oh, well, platform three. But yeah, all the way from London, Victoria, and now we're here at Brighton. Sounds weird saying that, if I'm going to be honest. reverb in the station. Cool. You even have the station ambience as well. It's crazy. There we go. And I think that's it. Brighton Station, everyone. All change, please. If you see anything suspicious, please tell a member of staff or the police. You even have like the full station announcements as well. Alright, we should be able to... Do that. There we go. That's the route. Yeah, a bit of speeding there. Bit of speeding there as well. This one we kind of caught a little bit. I think that was the 20 or that was the 20. Yeah, not that bad, actually. Um, We got 4,625. Obviously, I don't think that's any medals or so or so, but yeah. Gatwick Airport platform was stopping accuracy at 0, 0.000 yards. So I'm guessing that stop was perfect. 
But then there's no stopping accuracy for Brighton, which I find a little bit weird. But anyway, that is going to be the end of this journey. So, uh, yeah, it took us 25 minutes. We've been recording for way longer than that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching this um, video, guys. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy it. Obviously, make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. But until then, take care and peace out.